Poe as my world's most favorite people. All two of you. <laughs> Don't want to claim any more than I've got. Uh, gotta stay modest. Anyway. Yes, I've been missing. I've been busy. Old man had a kidney stone we had to take care of. I've been, was in the hospital for a week because they wanted to try to deal with a diabetic foot issue. issue. And then they found out they couldn't really finish dealing with it. At least for a few more days. Because I take Ozempic. And they don't like to knock you out if you've had your dose too close. Apparently the way Ozempic slows down your digestive system is not conducive to being under since that increases the risk that you might have a backflow in your digestive tract and they really don't want to deal with it. So, I had to go back in for outpatient because they finally let me go. Otherwise, I'd have been in there for two weeks doing nothing but laying around and getting enough antibiotic in little bags to treat several people. Yep, yep, yep. So, once I got out of all, got done with all that mess, oh, it was, it was wonderful. Couldn't take showers, which is bad because we only have a shower. lift more than five pounds. Good thing the cats are smaller than that. However, neither one of the dogs are. And in some cases, by a lot. Pardon me. Well, hospital air didn't help my sinuses any. Go figure. Anyway, that's my favorite soft glam in the palest color we could find. Anyway, I'm home. I'm now well past all of the inconvenience. I can drag myself into the shower and I must have had the infection for quite some time before it like came to the surface and made itself known because 
I feel so much better now that it's got to have been a long time. Part of the problem with having neuropathy, you can't always tell when there's something wrong. interesting learning to balance again. You would think that just one wouldn't make it quite so hard to balance. Well, let me tell you. Balancing and getting rebalanced has been an issue. Finally got there, though. I'm not doing quite as much of the drunk walk, as I call it. Once I was able to, like, be in the shower again and that kind of thing, I said, it's time to color my hair. I need to do something. So I did something. I used some Ion products and did what they call pale peach. Now, when I first put it on, it was a whole lot more like this rather than this. <laughs> Everybody knows that your hair is going to lighten up a little bit as you wash. I'm still using the after color treatment. Conditioner stuff. No, I haven't learned to talk any faster. You'll just have to get used to it. And I'm going to try and do something. Something. With these eyes. That kind of goes with the shirt and the hair a little bit. Now, I've got the Elf 18 Hit Wonders, and I'm using a color called Heat currently. It's basically a satin. It's not really that sparkly, but it's got some sparkle to it. And I figured I would do it just because. Now, I know some people will tell you to do your offhand eye first so you can, like, see it and look at it and get it a little more even between, you know, you'll be able to see it better so that you can make the on-hand eye look a little more like the off-hand. And I still 
have not managed to convince myself to do this. So here I sit trying to get the colors about even and placement about even. <sighs> I'm just a cantankerous old thing that doesn't always change what I'm doing. Cantankerous. Now, the only thing that's been nice about having all this downtime is I actually feel a little bit rested. And when I feel a little bit rested, I get up and do things, even though, you know, I'm not supposed to. I've been baking. I've been fixing dinner. been making myself breakfast, because Jim is usually up way before I am, and he makes his own. Hello, coffee. Coffee is a necessity of life. It must be done. Okay, now let's see what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to darken that up just a touch so it looks a little more like this one. See what I mean? If you can look at this one while you're doing this one, much simpler. Let's see. Take a little bit of this color called shade, which is just it, it's kind of a medium charcoal. And just do a blob. Just to darken that up, just a tiny bit right there. Do a blob thing. Yeah, not too bad. going to take allergies. I really do hate my allergies. I'm going to take a little bit of this pale color called peachy. And I'm going to kind of Just go along the edge. Of heat. With the peachy. Kind of 
trying to soften the edge there, but not go too high. Drag that forward a little bit. Not too bad. And then there's kind of a mustardy color in here called summer. And I'm going to put that across the lid before I put any of the shimmer shades on. Just because I think it might look good to lay the shimmer shades over it. Now uh, this one's, it's kind of a mustardy, but not, it's not a bright mustard, it's more like, oh, maybe a little Dijon. Or one of those other fancy mustards that's got kind of a different, it's definitely not Heinz. different shimmers that I've been looking at here. Got one that's called Pave that's really light and one that's called Quartz that's closer to the pinks and peaches I've been using. I've also got A silver, which I really don't think is necessarily the way to go. I'm going through some of my singles here. Nope. I don't think any of those are going to work either. I've got kind of a burbly one in there, but... I don't think this is a burply kind of thing. Oh, me and my nose. I think I do think once in a while, you know. I'm going to do the quartz. I'm going to give it a little spritz. I've tried doing glitter glues and they just don't seem to work well on me. I may put this one on and then 
go back and put the pave over it. I don't know, I might even get up at him and put some of the silver over it. I've got a silver in here called Brilliant. Yes, I know. This one's a little bit subdued compared to what I do occasionally. But then I'm going to be dealing with my sister and her grandson. So, full out glam, I'm not sure that'll do. If it was just my sister, she'd be stuck with the full-out glam. Which she seems to appreciate when I wear it, but she's scared to death to try. La, 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 la. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think that's doing pretty well. Put a little more of the heat back here. Because I don't want to lose the heat. It's looking pretty good. Now, let's see what I'm going to do. I keep bouncing back and forth between doing liquid eyeliner and um, just taking a little dip into my into the palette and doing a powder eyeliner. Part of it depends on how steady my hands are being for the day. I think this one's about dead. Let's try this one. That's a little better. Now, we all know I don't go flying up too much because it's going to get lost in the, in the wrinkles from the fold. And getting lost like that in the folds. see anything so it's just messy for no good see how much I can keep from linking my so much that the shadow the liner is everywhere except on the eyelash line I hate the ones that you get started you get one eye done it's looking pretty good then when you go to do the other one, it's a, yeah, no. Not doing it. most ridiculous thing on the planet. Have to switch eyeliners in the middle. That's truly annoying. Yeah. 
spritz this a little bit. Get the eyes kind of set down. And get started on the rest. The rest. is a it's called mosaic it's from LA colors and it's one of my favorite bronzers it just is I don't know why just is probably because it's not very, very, very dark. I just kind of feather it down a little bit. Put it a little heavier under the chin and kind of darken down the hanging doubles. Now, I've got a very tiny little nose that already has a tip up on the end by itself. So, I don't usually do some of the tip up tricks and that kind of thing to make it look like a cute little button nose because it already is. got a cute little button nose which is a pain in the rear to try to find glasses to fit try to convince people I've been out in the sun anytime lately I don't know why I try to convince them they all know I'm in the house Which is why I don't get too crazy with the bronzer. Singe Beauty. I got it the minute it came out. And which one is this? the rhubarb color and I have found that I enjoy the heck out of this blush and not just because Angelica did it I like the color I like the way it lays on the skin I like the way you can build it or leave it sheer and that it's got a little bit of a glow to it. So whatever you do, if you get the singe blushes, go in with an easy hand to start with. But you can get real surprised 
if you go in heavy, the stuff is pigmented. And it is lovely. It's some of the prettiest blush I've run into for a while. No, not sponsored. It's just a little flush of color. And I think it's delightful. Now, I think I've probably done enough with the peachy colors, because I've got a peachy color. A um, couple of peachy color highlighters in there but I think I've done enough peachy so I'm gonna excuse me I'm gonna go with something a little different there. Put that right there. Now, I do not go all the way up under my nose with this. It just makes you look sweaty. I put it across the cupid's bow and that's enough. And a little bit under the lip. Yeah, I could do the bronzer under the lip thing or do an overline with the lip pencil and I'm going maybe maybe now I need to do something for the underline in the waterline. What am I going to do? Yeah, there are some times I wish you silly people could actually tell me. I sometimes wonder if it would work out doing a Zoom call but not everybody's available to do a Zoom call, so. You know, that just doesn't work out well. Okay, this one's a kind of a peachy gold. And 
not sure it's going to show up to, enough to make a difference. Let me see if this one does anything else. ever sort of underline the lips and that's because this side is a little higher than this side I'm just not really big on underlining lips This one, I've got this one. I've got this one. Got this one. I think I'll do this one. Like I said, my sister and her grandson. I'll probably regret this since I'm about to eat dinner. nice thing about lipstick though. You can always put it back on. Okay. Now I'm going to spritz the face again before I put on the mascara. I have put on mascara scarab before, spritz the face, and had all kinds of spots and speckles from the mascara all around my eyes. everybody else been doing? Anything new? Anything old that's still exciting? Anybody go shopping at any of the sales? 
anybody look at some of the new products and going, yeah, nope. I keep hearing that, yeah, no, from a lot of people. Been listening to, to Reese's Dead and Angelica, and they're like going, uh, somebody has lost the story here. What the heck are they doing? And I'm even going to put some scent on today. Woohoo! I've still got quite a collection to go through that I picked up from Scentbird. And then I found out Scentbird's CEO is on TikTok or such. And she's doing all kinds of strange and quote-unquote, mystical things on the um, TikTok, which worries me a bit. And it's like, when I found out about that, I just said, yeah, no, let me check out Dossier. It's like they're a little less expensive, and I can still get a lot of the stuff that I want to get. I want to get the dupe for Chanel number no. five just because I want it, just because I'm like that. Okay. Get my elf volumizing out of the basket. Now, I have gone a little bit back to curling my lashes once in a while. But that kind of depends on if I've been using the eyelash serum to get them to grow some. Now, the eyelash serum that I got from ELF. It works. It really does. It works well. Probably not as fast as Legrand, but hey, I'm not looking for overnight success. And then as soon as you stop using it, it stops doing anything. It's like, once you're on it, if you want to keep them eyelashes, you have to keep using it. used it for a couple of days so I'm not curling
still have to figure out what I want to put in the inner corner. What do I want to put in the inner corner? Give me a clue. Give me a suggestion. this. This is the e.l.f. prism and there's this really nice light color right here in the corner. And I believe it's mostly matte. Doesn't have to shine like crazy, just needs to be pale. It doesn't need to be yellow bright or blue bright or anything like that. It can just quietly be a light color. Alrighty, I think that ought to be enough fitzing around with it. What do you think? No, really. Tell me what you think. I mean it. Get in the comments. Tell me what you think. Okay, it is now time for my one and only political message. Make sure you are registered. If you are not registered, get yourself registered and go vote. Just go vote. Whoever you're, you're chasing, Whoever you're supporting, go vote. 
Have a good one. Bye. Behave yourself at the polling place. I got no bail money. Take care of each other. Take care of yourself.